For a little update on those fires out there in Capaya County, the Forestry Commission says they are about 80% contained. The personnel will keep an eye on it through Saturday. But again, now is a good time to remind everyone that we are still under a burn ban. Friday, four separate wildfires broke out on the I-55 corridor between both Gallman and Hazelhurst. We have personnel that has been on call 24-7. We have, they have tirelessly worked for the first time, I, I believe, ever have had to bring in out of state resources to help. Since August, Shannon Coker with the Mississippi Forestry Commission says there's been over 1,000 wildfires in the state. She says firefighter personnel have been on the clock nonstop, working to put out more than 16,000 acres of these wildfires. We're under burn bans, um, partial state level burn ban in um, the central and south part of the state, and there are several others that have been put in place by the counties. Under a burn ban, anything that produces an ember is banned. That includes bonfires and campfires, but Coker says it's especially important to be careful on our interstates and highways. Any little thing can cause a fire in these conditions. A spark, it only takes a spark. And that can be something simple as throwing a cigarette butt out of the window, driving down the road, or dragging a chain behind a trailer. While traffic was backed up for hours during the wildfires Friday, Coker says they had to shut down the interstate so crews could work. The main thing is threatening properties and lives. That's the main thing. And when we talk about property, it was a close call for Sheila Bykovsky's neighbors who shared this video with us. She says they are OK, but they had to use water hoses until the Forestry Commission showed up to help. Again, right now, there are no lane closures, but if you are traveling this weekend, the Forestry Commission wants you to be mindful. So we continue to have beautiful forests and, of course, give those firefighters a little break.